How's it going, everybody? It's your boy, Burke Crown, coming at you with a YouTube video, and we've got the week two of the new event. Some people were thinking Leon Dreisaitl. I was thinking Rasmus Dahlin. I thought for sure with Austin Matthews coming out, it would be a defenseman as a second pick. It was a defenseman. wasn't Rasmus Dahlin. It was actually better. Leave in the comment section down below if you think this MSP is good, because the MSP list of great players. We're going to look at them all. But the main one, Dougie Hamilton, is huge for Hut Boys. I'm excited to get him. I'm excited to use him. And I want your thoughts down below. Let's look at the new event, everything we need to know. And they added two new cards that makes the diamond set actually kind of valuable. So let's look at it see what we think. So here's the Dougie Hamilton, the exact same as the Austin Matthews. You get the 50 cards by doing your Hut Rush, by doing your objectives, by doing everything just like the Austin Matthews. And you can also build them in sets just like the Austin Matthews. Now, they are giving us a Thomas Shabbat, 86 overall Thomas Shabbat, and a ton of power of collectibles, which is nice because, as you know, power of collectibles are an absolute must this year in this game because it's everything. It's not event collectibles anymore. It's everything. And then we look at Hut Rush. We're going to see that Hut Rush is going to have pretty much two new cards for the event, all the gold players that you can turn into team builders or whatever you want to do with your gold players, and then power of collectibles. And your Dougie Hamilton collectible. So you're going to see gold players, gold players, five hot rush, which again, turn your hot rushes into diamond collectibles, guys. And I'm going to show you what you can do with those because they gave us two new cards that are really exciting. Charlie Coyle, Joe Pavelski, that's nice, 12 hot, hot rush collectibles, gold players, event collectible, event collectible, elite pack, power collectible, and your Dougie Hamilton collectible. So going to hot rush is actually beneficial. Not only do you get two event cards to help you build one of these three beautiful cards in Sorokin, Eric Carlson, Elias Pettersson, Kirill Kaprizov, Miku Rantanen, and your master master, if that's what we want to call him, the master master set player, Dougie Hamilton. And then Jasper Bratt, which I know this card's going to be fast. He's going he's gonna to be crazy. Brock Nelson, there's our Rasmus Dahlin. He made it but not quite where I thought. Mackenzie Weger, Jeremy Swayman, and Ryan Nugent Hopkins. Good, good names. I mean, if, if you're a fan of the teams, it's nice to see these extra cards, different names get added. We've got Pacioretty, Bo Horvat, and Blake Wheeler as your captains, and a couple of new gallery greats with Esposito, with Esposito Suter, and Howard Chuck. Moments will have them as well, just like the Austin Matthews did. If you're in need of stuff for your team, there's Randon for players, packs, stuff like that. You can do an Elias Pedersen. Or get four points with Pedersen to get an event, to get one of the elite event collectibles. And then Dougie Hamilton, you got to get two assists with Dougie Hamilton on Superstar to get his collectible. And then you get another collectible just by getting two assists with Eric Carlson. And then a premium pack for playing as the goalie. Now, when I say they added some new cards to the game, they added a new style of a way they could do cards to the game, which I'm not against because you have always kind of had your moments collectibles, which people didn't really do your moments for your moments collectibles because there wasn't really much to do and you had to get a ton of them. And then your hut rush collectibles, you just turned into diamond collectibles and got a mini ultimate pack. Well, now guys, doing the diamond collectibles, you can get a power up Rick Tocket or a power up Wade Red. And I'm going to go look at them. You can still get the mini ultimate pack you can also now get an ultimate choice pack with 20 diamond collectibles. So it's starting to make the diamond collectibles a little more uh, worth going after. I wouldn't recommend them with rivals still. In squad battles, if you want to do it, you can, but I, the value is still not there for me. But Hut Rush, definitely go get your Hut Rush collectibles. Turn them into diamonds. Because instead of getting a mini ultimate pack, which is just going to be 980 plus, 80 pluses, which is going to give you a couple 82s, couple 81s. You can go and get yourself a Rick Tocket or a Wade Red, and that's 84, but you can power it up to an 83. So I like this. But when we look at the cards, how do they look, right? So we got Wade Red, and we'll look first. If we power Wade Red all the way up to a 93, which will take 21 power of collectibles, you get 94 speed, 94 acceleration, 90 endurance, with 95 balance, good mid 90 shooting, 95 defensive awareness. This card looks good. 90 body checking, 92 strength. Then he comes with two way defenseman, offensive defenseman, acceleration boost, defensive boost, and checking boost. All very nice. And then shutdown, thunderclap, elite edges, and quick pick not a terrible card if you're a fan this is exciting stuff because if it, it's a different name that's good and we might be able to see him out on the ice the rick Tockett again 21 collectibles you get 95 speed 95 acceleration with mid 90s shooting mid 90s hands 90 96 body check with 95 stick check and 90 defense this rick Tockett card is really good as well again if you're a philadelphia fan 
this probably excites you a little bit enforcer forward again now you can get him up to 97 speed if you can get enforcer forward activated really nice and then checking boost and shooting boost to help him get his shooting into the high 90s instead of the mid 90s again really nice unstoppable force back at you cool close quarters and gold truculence if you're going to build one of these two cards i think rick talkett is is a good one to build but now for those msps curl capriza 510 is a little small but with protect the puck how overpowered protect the puck is in this game the size really doesn't matter you can hit Kaprizov with just about anybody if if the player is protecting the puck well he's just gonna slide off them or bounce off them and you're not gonna be able to hit them so don't let the size scare you away protecting the puck is key with little players then we got sniper forward playmaking forward dangler shooting boost and playmaking boost 95 speed is nice make it snappy wheels backhand beauty and elite edges pretty much a 99 sniper on this card especially if you put the shooting boost on him then you can just get him right up to 99 shooting he'd have an absolutely nasty shot eric carlson six foot again 96 speed 96 acceleration mid shooting mid hands it, defensive awareness is at 90 with 96 stick check it's a good looking card as well another one that is a very good build if you're a pittsburgh fan san jose fan even or an ottawa fan seeing eye tape to tape stick him up and elite edges i like cni and i like elite edges i think they'd be very good on uh, eric carlson offensive defenseman and two-way defenseman pair that with accelerator boost defensive boost and checking boost another well built card and i still i still just love this card art sorokin i have shesterkin so i will not be building the sorokin card but if you're looking for speed boost and acceleration boost as a combo there's one right there defensive boost playmaking boost and shooting boost also come on this card 99 speed 69 aggression nice build here at six foot three light work post to post butterfly effect and showstopper are his abilities then we have elias Pettersson, six foot two a very light at a 176 but 94 speed again pretty much 99 shooting mid 90 hands 90 face off so he's not really a face off guy he comes with power forward playmaking forward shooting boost speed boost so you can get him up to 96 speed and it and dangler the speed boost is nice because at 97 wrist shot accuracy and power and 99 deep and 99 slap shot power and accuracy you don't need to activate the shooting boost you can go right to the speed boost and get this card up to a 96 which would make him very good and we got unstoppable force elite edges puck on a string and one t miku ran in something that uh this is gonna be a good card I'm only at the 84 he's already got 89 speed so i am ready for it i hope you guys are let's see let's check this card out 94 speed 94 acceleration 99 shooting 96 to 99 hands this card offensive specimen and especially with his size impossible to knock off the puck sniper forward power forward speed boost to get him up to 96 speed angler and uh dangler and playmaking boost one t tape to tape snipe which i've really liked this year snipe and uh make it snappy have been my two favorite abilities so far this year and unstoppable force is also a good one this card best forward other than austin matthews i really think this card's going to be a demon and uh probably the best build other than the austin matthews for uh for the forwards now as for defensemen this card is going to be a monster six foot six absolute must build you will be hurting your defensive core if you do not have this 94 six foot six 230 pound monster on the ice with 94 speed 95 defensive awareness his shooting is ridiculous his hands are ridiculous everything on this card is absolutely ridiculous this is a must build what do we got we got offensive defenseman two-way defenseman and then we got shooting boost defensive boost and checking boost the checking boost is nice because dougie hamilton has 90 checking on this card so you throw the checking boost on there you bump him up a bit he's not going to need it the size is nasty this card is actually unbelievable heat seeker with quick pick in reverse and shut down i'd probably do shut down a quick pick on this card and uh, just see how it goes from there but unbelievable build dougie hamilton is an absolute must so i got some rearranging to do guys i have five new msps to add to the team line a is going to be gone power power panera down theo's gone zegers is gone host is powered down everybody's going to be slowly taking off this team and power down and then we have to add in here we got to get rid of rob blake and add in the dougie hamilton which i mean mcavoy is going to go down dougie hamilton's going to go in and we're going to see how this card plays if you want to check this card out i will be playing with these msp cards on sunday in champs 
7 a.m. is when I'm going to start. Who knows when I'm going to finish? I am going to go from like 7 to 7 probably tomorrow. There will be a little break in there for lunch. Probably going to be a Tez takeover for two hours while I do that. But Sunday is going to be an extremely long day of playing champs with this team. If you want to come check it out, Burkcrown88 on Twitch. Absolute amazing, guys. Absolutely amazing event. I love the MSPs from this event. And I love what they're doing with the diamond set. The diamond set, having those power-up cards gives value to those collectibles and I like that. I like I like when you can give in cards that people can power up to change teams around and have different teams because those two cards are actually nice. Rick Talk, it's the better one in my opinion. But go check out those cards, guys. Go build them up. Go enjoy it. Go have fun. It's all about having fun, guys. And thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoy it. Until next time, ciao, ciao.